If there truly is a highly developed alien civilization out there, it must have left behind some technical fingerprint. And lo and behold, we're now confronted with sensational headlines claiming that NASA has detected a bright carpet of city lights on an alien planet. But what is the truth behind these sensational claims? Has mankind's oldest question, whether we are truly alone in the universe, finally been answered with absolute certainty? Or should we approach such reports with a healthy dose of skepticism? Join us on this cosmic journey. The JWST has just discovered lights at a distance of over 7,000 billion km from Earth. Not long ago, two researchers from the University of Nottingham made headlines with some startling news. There could be a staggering 36 advanced alien civilizations in our local Milky Way alone. This was the conclusion reached by Tom Westby and Christopher Consolish as part of an astrophysics study. Assuming that the development of intelligent life on other planets takes as long as it does on Earth, there should be at least a few dozen advanced alien races slumbering in our galactic neighborhood. But let's assume these theoretical considerations correspond to reality. Where, then, are our extraterrestrial contemporaries? This is a paradox that experts have grappled with for many decades, but more on that later. Westby and Consolish explained the mysterious absence of aliens by the enormous distances separating the various civilizations. On average, they are around 17,000 light years apart. To put this into perspective, a light year is the distance light travels in a vacuum within a year, approximately 9.46 trillion kilometers. And yet, there seems to be a celestial body out there that could reveal something about our hidden neighbors despite the vast distances. In astronomical circles, this mysterious object is known as K8846-2852, but it's better known as Tabby Star. Located in the constellation Cygnus, around 1,470 light years away from our earthly home, Tabby Star has 1.4 times the mass of the Sun and shines five times brighter. However, it attracts the attention of experts primarily due to one extraordinary circumstance. It is repeatedly subject to extreme fluctuations in brightness that defy every known pattern and simply cannot be explained. Could it be the home system of an alien civilization? The transit method has proven to be a reliable tool in the search for new planets in the depths of space. As part of this indirect detection method, experts focus on the recurring fluctuations in brightness that a planet causes as it passes by its parent star. In this way, researchers can not only confirm the existence of a planetary companion, but also reveal some of its basic characteristics, such as its radius, orbital period, and orbital inclination. From 2009 to 2013, the Kepler Space Telescope closely examined around 150,000 stars, searching for telltale fluctuations in brightness. The mission was successful. Kepler ultimately added over 2,300 new exoplanets to our star maps. Today, we know of a total of 5,580 planetary worlds orbiting stars other than the Sun. Among these discoveries, Tabby Star stands out as one of the strangest. It has earned the title, the strangest star in the universe, and for good reason. Tabby's star repeatedly experiences brief dips in brightness, which at first glance resemble planetary transits, but occur completely irregularly. In the most extreme cases, the star loses almost a quarter of its luminosity, and no known planet, no matter how gigantic, could cause this anywhere else in the universe. Equally mysterious is the timing of these events. On one occasion, the star's brightness reduced by 16% within a single day, only to climb back to its initial value the next day. In other instances, Tabby's star took much longer to regain its original splendor. But how can these mysterious phenomena be explained? The most exciting and controversial theory suggests that these fluctuations are the work of an extraterrestrial civilization building colossal artificial structures to harness as much stellar energy as possible. One such megastructure is known as a Dyson Sphere, but so far it only exists in science fiction. This concept was first described in 1960 by physicist Freeman Dyson in the journal Science. Dyson speculated that a highly developed alien civilization might one day need all the energy of its host star, and what could be more logical than enveloping the star with oversized solar panels, transforming it into a gigantic solar power plant? So, are the aliens currently building a Dyson sphere around Tabby's star? 
While this explanation is undoubtedly spectacular, it also has a major flaw. According to our current understanding, such a construct would emit an additional infrared component, which has not been detected in the case of Tabby's star. Consequently, most experts prefer more natural explanations. Some suggest that comet fragments or dust rings might be behind the unusual dips in brightness. Alternatively, Tabby's star could be much younger than thought, still surrounded by an accretion disk of dust and gas. Another theory is that the star might have swallowed a planet, with the debris from the collision causing the star to appear dimmer from our perspective than it actually is. As for the James Webb Telescope detecting artificial city lights, it's worth noting that even explanations far removed from Dyson spheres and alien megastructures cannot currently be proven. Things are somewhat clearer in the case of the city lights that the James Webb Telescope recently detected on the surface of Proxima Centauri b. This isn't surprising, as Proxima Centauri b is the closest exoplanet to Earth at a distance of just 4.2 light years. It also scores 87 on the Earth Similarity Index, making it a close cosmic twin to Earth. With this knowledge in mind, it seemed only a matter of time before Webb uncovered the telltale signatures of our extraterrestrial neighbors, ending all debates about the existence of aliens once and for all. However, to be honest, the revolutionary discovery of the century also has one tiny caveat. It never happened. Despite all the lurid headlines, we are simply dealing with the extreme distortion of another discovery, which is actually extremely exciting in itself. Basically, we don't even know at present whether Proxima Centauri b is habitable at all. The planet is divided into a scorching hot day side and a freezing cold night side. If life could have developed there at all, it could only have done so in the temperate twilight zone. However, this would require a stable atmosphere, about whose existence and possible composition, we still have no information. It is true that the James Webb Telescope has detected a mysterious light phenomenon on the alien celestial body, but it is neither an artificially illuminated alien metropolis nor a planet. In reality, WISE 1935 is a brown dwarf, and therefore an object that astronomers also refer to as a failed star. Brown dwarfs do not have enough mass to fuse hydrogen in their cores. At the same time, although they are larger than planets, they are still too small and too old to be considered stars. Excitingly, however, Webb has now discovered an infrared emission of methane in the regions of WISE 1935, presenting scientists with a major puzzle. This is because the brown dwarf is cold and has no host star, and therefore no energy source that could heat up its upper atmosphere and cause the methane to glow. Terrestrial auroras are caused by the interplay between the electrically charged particles of the solar wind and the oxygen and nitrogen atoms in the upper layers of the atmosphere. However, as there is no nearby star in the vicinity of WISE 1935 that could trigger the Prancing Light Show, NASA experts believe that the aurora is formed by an internal process. In detail, the researchers have observed a so-called temperature inversion in the atmosphere of the celestial body. Normally, the temperature decreases steadily with increasing altitude, but in the atmosphere of the brown dwarf, the exact opposite is the case. What is behind this temperature inversion, however, remains to be discovered. WISE 1935 is the first object without an external heat source on which this phenomenon has been observed. So, aliens, where are you hiding? If you are an alien yourself, please tell us in the comments. Otherwise, we have no choice but to come to a sobering realization. Despite all the bizarre UFO clips and supposed insider information, we have not yet succeeded in proving the existence of extraterrestrial life. But why is that? The times when life on Earth was considered unique seem to be long gone. In addition to the scientists mentioned at the beginning, many other experts are now convinced that we are not alone in the universe. Although we've received the infamous WOW signal and sent several messages into space on board space probes, we have not yet officially found anything. This is a very puzzling circumstance, which the Italian physicist Enrico Fermi summed up as early as 1950 with the following question, where is everyone? If there really were highly developed alien civilizations in the Milky Way, they would have had more than enough time to colonize half the galaxy, or at least leave clear signs of their existence. As mentioned, however, 
reality paints a very different picture, and experts have been trying to crack the Fermi paradox for almost 75 years now. The first attempt at an explanation was provided by Fermi himself. According to the physicist, advanced alien civilizations may have already explored the entire galaxy. But this happened so long ago that we simply can't find any traces of them today. It is also conceivable that extraterrestrial races do exist, but we will never find out about them. According to this theory, advanced alien civilizations would destroy themselves before we ever get a chance to meet them. Climate change, the global arms race, or the general scarcity of resources could also mean that one day we humans could wipe ourselves out. The great silence, the ominous circumstance that our highly developed neighbors seem to ignore us, could also be due to their religious values or ethical codes. Another possibility is that there are highly developed civilizations out there, but they aren't necessarily friendly. An invasion of Earth by aliens would not be as peaceful as depicted in some blockbuster movies. Instead, the scenario would likely resemble the arrival of European settlers in the Americas, an event that, as we know, had devastating consequences for the indigenous people of the New World. Finally, there is a fourth possibility. We really are alone in the Milky Way. While this theory sounds extremely disappointing at first glance, it's actually good news for mankind. For if we really are the only highly developed race in our galactic neighborhood, we wouldn't have to deal with competing alien races either. So, despite all the gloomy prophecies, the Great Filter could also mean that we are on the best path to becoming a Type 3 civilization. In detail, this refers to the highest stage in the hypothetical Kardashev scale, which describes how a civilization uses energy and technology. Well, that was it for our post. Would you like to know more about the different theories trying to explain the Fermi paradox? Or would you rather know what the first contact with an alien civilization could look like? Let us Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.